good Sunday morning. We have a lot to break down for you. So we're starting off first with something that's the same which is our pattern on your surface map. High pressure system towards the north of us, low pressure system towards the south of us, so we still have that pressure gradient leading to breezy winds throughout the day today. Temperature wise, we're in the 70s to start off your Sunday morning. 77 in Stewart, we have 73 in Vero, and we have 77 in Boca. We have some green paws on the board, so my little Kenzie girl is going to be happy out there with mainly sunny skies. High temperatures are in reach into the lower 80s for this afternoon. Now I want to rule out the chance of seeing an isolated rain shower later this evening for Palm Beach County, but a few of those isolated rain showers can't be ruled out throughout parts of the Treasure Coast, mainly this morning. But one thing that we will all feel the impact of, if you are going to head to the beach, just err on the side of caution or take the boat out because we do have a high rip current risk and as well as a small craft advisory in effect through this evening, just because it is going to be so choppy and rough out there. Now let's get into the nitty gritty here and talk about the tropics. We have this area of low pressure heading towards the southeastern Bahamas. Poses no threat to us here at home, but one thing that we are watching it closely is this system in the Caribbean that's going to continue to lift northward. This is likely going to be Raphael by I'd say tomorrow or maybe even early, early Tuesday morning. So the National Hurricane Center has us at an 80% chance of seeing more of that tropical development in the next 48 hours. You're showing you its direction. It looks to lift northward, bringing a lot of rainfall towards parts of Cuba. Uh, could even see some rain extending over towards Haiti and as well as the Dominican, but it looks to just hug the west coast of the state. So we're actually going to feel indirect impacts of this system. So this is what we know. We're likely going to see a tropical depression by Monday or Tuesday and then likely see that become a tropical storm. As far as the impact, it's going to likely be few good downpours between Tuesday and into Thursday. As far as what we'll see with the system as it enters in the Gulf and continues to lift northward into the Gulf, it's going to be unfavorable for further development just due to seeing that additional wind shear and as well as some cooler waters in the northern Gulf especially. So that's what we know right now and that's what we're going to continue to monitor very closely. But again, we're looking at just some strong winds for Wednesday through Thursday. Few scattered showers are expected uh, Tuesday into Wednesday and as well as Thursdays. We're going to have a surge of tropical moisture. So that's something to keep in mind, especially for Election Day Tuesday. Have that rain gear ready to go. Maybe the rain jacket uh, rather than the umbrella because it is going to be so windy. And we're finally looking at seeing some drier conditions by the following weekend.